Good morning, everyone. It's me, Lee, with Victorian Dreams by Lee. And today is day four of Anna Griffin's Creative Tag Advent Calendar. So let's open it up and see what we get. And make this a party. So we did one, two, and three. Now four. I know they're all tags. Boy, I'm not going to have to worry about having any more tags in my 12 different sizes. Alrighty, here we go. Let's put this up. And what did we get? Oh, let's see. So this morning, little craft. And I can't believe I'm fitting in time to craft this close to Christmas. But I want to do this. I'm having fun having my own little present every day. But of course, I'm not telling my husband because then he may not buy me what I want for Christmas. <laughs> All right, I'll cut that in half. All right, what did we get? Okay, we got the little hole thing, we got a beautiful die. Got two trees and then we got the sandwich. Um, the so let's stick those on here. We like this magnet. This is from Anna Griffin. Um, so we got these. And then it says, oh, and warm wishes. And so we're going to do like before, we're going to cut this. I have my Impress Mini right here, and it just came unplugged, so let me plug it back in, because I'm stretching it across the table where it's kind of tight. Let's turn it on, but it automatically turns off, so I've got to remember to turn it back on. I'm using the long, and this is uh, what I'm going to use. We're going to cut this and this. And do we want to do it differently this time? Do we want to do an angle? Let's see if it's thick an angle instead of straight on. I think I am. And I think I'm not going to use the small one to say uh, two and five. I think I'm going to keep it big on both. And so let's put this right here. Um, let's see, and this right here, I guess we'll just use gold, because you know I told you that I would come back and make more of these, but for today, you know, it's just a quick tutorial on how to use it, so let's see if it's going to fit. Just barely. Okay. Now let's cut this. And it wants to move on us. But I have a lot of cutting to do on this one this time, so we'll try to be fast. Okay, why am I using the long one when I'm only cutting two? So let me totally change that up too. Whoa, you see what I mean about that? I just did a no-no. I just put that on the cutting side edge, which is sharper. And this is only paper on here. And I can already see that it's paper or it might be like a wallpaper. It's got a gloss to it, but I can already see that that could get worn out if you put the wrong edge. So, anyway. Cutting on this one, so it's going to take a minute. It's on this side. And I'm going to do a diagonal again. I think, I think it really looks cute. Yeah, I like it. I just want something different. Because if I do this, it cuts away a lot. I could do that. 
it cuts away quite a bit. Um, so I am doing it diagonal. Okay. Show you what this looks like when I clean it. I'm going to set that one more time. Two. That's what that looks like. Got to cut these and those out. So we do another piece of gold. I have all these scraps, thank goodness. And see, so you would think, why are you saving so much? This is why. <laughs> Look how fast this goes. So this machine is faster than the bigger one. Save these little stars. I don't know where the other one went. Um, save those little stars. And we use them. So what I'm going to do this time is use the big one again. Maybe we should be using the big one every time. I had to do it twice. Let me see. Let me see if I can line this up and do it twice and see what comes out. Okay. Yeah. And this cardstock is very thick. So Just to make sure, I'm going to push reverse and cut it twice. I don't think I need to. 99% of the time I don't have to. Oh, I need to make this again. A little star. Maybe a little star. I wish it was on the other one. See it on me. <laughs> so anyway, all right, let's put these together. And now we have way we use hot dogs. So um, how do we want to do this this time? Do we want to do it like that, or that they have to go and look? It's kind of like that, but they have to go and look for it. So let's do that on these this time. Okay. Let's pop up these trees. And you know I've told you that my blue, my weather kind of makes these pop dots not work well. Mm -hmm. um, I rushed my coffee down to get my video, but um, so I put hot glue on the pop dots so that they will last. But you don't have to worry about it as much when it comes to tags because um let's see, we want this one here. We put it that way and then put the tree on the back like that. And it can go either way. So I really like the tree and it says open wing. And I need to put the tree sideways, okay? Okay, open wing. Which one should we do it? And then put this on the back of here, which is for when you wash it. So, yeah. Um, let's put it straight on, not at an angle. Um, let's see. 
yeah, I always glue down with hot, 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 hot glue. I use hot glue 99% of the time on stuff. But I do want to tell you, um, put on, put some side cardboard, some type of hard pot. So what if I put that here? I was thinking of music. And then put that on here. I'm gonna raise these this time. And be a little different. Now when I'm making these myself, um, without just opening it and not knowing. I've already got where I'm going to layer it and, and all, or because I'm trying to make two because I'm going to use all these for Christmas. So I'm trying to get all the goodie out of it that I can. And then I'm just going to put that like that. So I raise it. I am going to raise it. I can't wait to make some more and show you how you could add this to junk journals and albums and um, birthdays and um, all kinds of things. So let's do open name. Let's do open name and then when they turn it, they're going to see the name of the hoodie. And then they're going to see the image is fairly high this year. I don't know yet what kind of package I'm going to put it on. So let's put that through there. And save it. So there you go. This would look really cute with uh, some glitter on it. And go ahead and put glitter on that. But if you know me, <laughs> I don't like glitter. But there's the box. It's really cute. So now let's do this one. This one. We're going to change up and put this in the front, maybe. Let's see what that means. I don't know. Let me see. No, I don't stop it. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep it the same this time. Very simple and easy. These are so simple, you really, really don't even need a tutorial. This is so easy to make. And there's not much to it, so you can't go wrong. But I'm, I'm going to change this up and go at it now. And um, you can always, you know, this one is dangling. It, it looks cute. I like it. So let's do it. Put this on the back. But yeah, it was so easy. You're like, uh, I'm just hanging out just to practice you. I'm not learning anything. It's, it's just too basic. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it. I have all my tags now for Christmas presents and all the extra stuff and made the tags, which is very different. I'm going to get that out of angle, too. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to put one more shape. I'm going to use it on the front this time. And put this only in the middle part because it's going to hang off. And I don't want it to just be hanging dangling and small. So, yeah. So, this could be a little bit. Different than the first one. And then let's make There we go. So 
your back and your calf. So just a little bit extra. And yeah, guys, um, I hope you like this, and I will see you tomorrow morning. And you go head out. So there you go. And so I don't need those scarves. <laughs> so there are those. Aren't they so cute? Wow, it looks like I did a lot. <laughs> okay, guys, have a blessed day.